I'm here on this glorious day in Preston where we're looking at the Quasar 564, a caravan built by British manufacturer Luna. It's a four berth and it's built for small families. Luna has been building caravans since 1969 and down the years it's developed a sound reputation for producing lightweight tourers. It's big news for the upcoming 2014 season is the introduction of something called core technology construction. This is something that's rolled out across all its ranges other than the Venus caravans that it also builds. So what is core technology? Well, Luna has replaced the plywood, ceiling and wallboard interior linings of its vans with a composite material. This material is lighter than the outgoing plywood, which reduces the overall weight of each tourer by up to 30 kilos. That's great news for safer outfit matching with lighter cars. Quasar is Luna's entry level range and the 564 is an all new layout for the 2014 season. What's new? Well, it gets these flush fitting front windows and a larger gas locker, which were introduced to the Lexan and Clubman lineups last season. It also gets a new graphics treatment, but otherwise the one piece sidewall, the molded rear panel, the color coded awning rails and the alloy wheels were there last year, but they're still very attractive. Inside the 564, there is a pair of facing sofas up front, which are sited either side of a chest. There's a central kitchen. Towards the rear, on the near side, there is a U-shaped dinette. And at the very rear of the van, across the full width, is a washroom. The Quasar kitchen has been restyled for the 2014 season. As you can see, the overhead lockers now have an attractive cream veneer which helps differentiate the area from the rest of the van. There's a wipe clean plastic splashback to the work surface area. There's an attractive new monoblock tap and an attractive black basin. The Thetford hob has three gas burners and an electric hot plate, plus a separate grill and oven, and there's a large Dometic fridge freezer. Across the galley, there is a microwave oven built in at a sensible height. Our only criticism would be perhaps a shortage of workspace. Might be nice to see an extension. One interesting feature of this rear u dinette area is that you can remove this table and its pedestal leg, remove this seat squab and the backrest and its base, and you can bring the freestanding table from the front to the rear and seat four at meal times should you choose to. At night time, the rear U lounge area makes up into a double bed fairly straightforwardly. There is though a substantial cutaway to allow access to that rear washroom. The facing sofas up front are really only suitable as single beds for the youngest of children. Otherwise, they make up into a double bed across the width of the front of the van. This though means that parents with children who are no longer prepared to share a double bed probably won't go for this van. Now the star feature of this 564 layout is the rear washroom. It spans the full width of the van. There's a large walk-in shower cubicle that's fully lined. There's lots of leg room around the swivel head Thetford toilet. There's an opaque window. There is plenty of storage, a sizable basin. It's a great space. For 2014, the Quasar looks great with its new front panel design. And the all new 564 layout is really strong for small families of four, thanks to its two lounge layout, which is ideal for keeping kids and parents separate of an evening on a campsite. We really like that full width rear washroom too. Our only reservation might be that that floor plan is more flexible by day than it is by night.